Continuing now onto my middle panels of my of my rough storyboard, just trying to get a transformation of the established cat, which is the last frame, to starting to have its mind blown. Right. So these are probably going to take quite a few more than just three frames to really show it, but I'm going to start with the whiskers and the mouth. You can see how those have changed a little bit. I make a duplicate each time I change it. And now I want to enlarge the whites of the eyes a little bit. Good. So I make a duplicate. And then turn off the one behind it. And now I'm going to hold down shift and just stretch up. The eyes start to lift. I need to remind myself kind of of all these different features and what happens by the end. So I'm going to start shrinking the blacks of the eyes a little bit because they're going to turn into crosses pretty soon. They're going to turn to these. So I want to shrink the eyes towards that. So I make another duplicate. So many copies. Our assets file is going to get quite large. That's why we keep it at, an eight, at a, a resolution that's about 150 if we need to, if our computer starts to slow down. And I want to just gradually shrink them. Let's see. I'm going to hold down shift so it allows me to distort. Do it towards the middle. It's moving mighty fast. I'm going to zoom in. Usually that gives you a little bit more sensitivity in your movement. I'm just going to shrink them a little bit like that and maybe stretch them a little bit flatter. Maybe, well, no, they're centering nicely on those X's. Get rid of the X's, see what we've got. From this to this as a next frame. That might be a little extreme with the eyes. Let me try it a little bit more subtly. Just gonna stretch it out a little bit and then pinch it down a little bit. There we go. So through these animation tests, you kind of realize what you can get away with. From there to there. So the only thing not changing is the nose now and the ears. That's because I want the, the ears to just get blown clean off by the end. And then the nose is pretty much where it needs to be for the, the final frame. I might need to drop the nose a little bit. So I'll just do that. I'll duplicate it and then just push one arrow key down. So this will be a very subtle transition. Okay, now that I have my next frame, I hold down Option. I, I'm clicked on the layer that's the topmost visible layer, which for me is the nose. I hold down Option and I say Layer, Merge Visible. With Option held down, that puts everything into a flattened layer at the top. I select all of that by saying select all, shortcut is command A. I copy all of that with command C under edit. And then I go to my stage and I go to my topmost layer, turn it on, select it, have the eyeball turned on, and then I paste it in command V, which you can see under the edit. 
And now I have my next animation frame. And then I hit Command S to save it. Then I go back to my original and I have to hit Command D to deselect and then delete that layer. And now I start it all over again. Duplicate the nose, move it down one arrow click. Go to the eyes. Now that I remember and have gotten used to what I'm doing, I'm going to stretch them out just a tiny bit this way, holding down Shift and Option. Too big a jump, so I'm going to zoom in so it's more subtle. And squeeze them down a little bit this way. It's, looks weird. So if I need to, and I think I do need to, I'm going to open up the eye group and then adjust them individually. So shrink this one down this way and shrink the other one down this way just to give them a little bit more space okay now the whiskers so i'm just working down my layers i can always check with my last frame okay, i'll zoom in on it Uh, with the eyes, I think I'll move them a little bit closer to each other. Just with the arrows. Kind of recenter them. That's what it's, why it's nice to have groups so you don't have to keep cutting up from your layers. All right. Now the mouth, or what's next? The whiskers, duplicate with Command J. Grow them a little bit, hit return and make them 10% more opaque from 59 to 70. See all those adjustments happening. Now the mouth, which I have labeled. Oh, the, the whites of the eyes are next. I'm going to continue to make those a little bit bigger. Something big is coming. It's seen something big. Mouth, make a duplicate. Turn off the one behind, transform the duplicate. And I can warp it, start to shift the expression. Let's see what that end one looks like. So I need to get the mouth a lot higher. So you no, know, that's kind of weird. Let's see, maybe instead of dropping it in the middle, I'll just raise it at the top. At the same time, the nose is coming down. So it's really nice to be able to look at this stage and see the last frame you did and the frame you're trying to get to. So I want to lower the corners of the mouth too. There we go. And this doesn't need to be perfect. Just trying to tell your story. That's difficult enough. 
and these animations play through so quickly. <laughs> yep, there's a little intrepidation now in the cat's face. It's fun playing with emojis because you'll see just every little change you make really changes the emotion that it conveys. That's the whole power of these emojis. Okay, next. I think that's everything for the next stage. So I go to the very top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, select all, copy, go to the stage, paste, Command S to save it. Go back to the assets, Command D to deselect, or you can go to edit, or select rather, deselect, Command D to deselect, and then delete. Delete that layer, and now I make a duplicate of the nose. I move it down by one arrow click. I take the eyes, I shrink them down too much. Here, I'm going to just do them individually again. The reason I have to do them individually is because when I treat them as a group, it it keeps the space between them proportional, and I need the space between them to grow even as the eyes shrink. I take the whiskers, I stretch them out just a little bit. Let's see if we're getting close. what those whiskers will be. Yeah, I still have a ways to grow them. And I want to make them a little bit more opaque. This time I'm just going to go up 75. I'm going to go up by five opacity points. Then the whites of the eyes. Sure, I'm not making them too big. No, those whites need to get really big. So, yep, keep expanding those whites of the eyes. Make a duplicate. Transform. Hold down Shift and grow them from this to this, and now the mouth. I think I can make some pretty big moves with the mouth. Poor kitty. Okay, that's done. And quickly this time, option, layer, merge visible, select all, using shortcuts, command C, command V, command S to save. And then Command-D to deselect and then delete. And now the next one. Duplicate the nose, move it down. Shrink the eyes individually. So I gotta duplicate them first. 